Kiev Art Gallery. It was established as a gallery of Russian art in 1922 on the ground of nationalized private collections, many of them belong to the Tereshenko family. So this museum was created on the basis of private collections that were stolen by the Soviet government. Of course this is not good, but on the other side we can admire all these works of art in one place. The museum has departments of old Russian 18th-19th centuries, uh, where you can find painting, sculpture, graphics and handicrafts. More than 30 rooms have been opened, the collection presents more than 12,000 objects of art. Also, I want to draw your attention to the rich decoration of halls, especially cells. So during your visit of the museum, don't forget to look up.
some small comments. Um, this museum is really worth it to be visited. Pay particular attention to the rich decoration of the halls, especially cells. Of course, there are also disadvantages, for example, such as presence of glass in some paintings, which creates glare and reflection of light and the difficulty of viewing these paintings. Also, security ladders who stand over your head uh, and as a result they create uh, some kind of psychological problems. But this is probably the disadvantages of all museums in the post-Soviet space. Anyway, welcome to the Kiev Art Gallery.